course, it's very important to, to create room and, and receive the ball and create some separation. Then everybody knows that my strong hand is my left. So as I know many of my opponents are concerned about that left, that's when I really try to sell them that I want to do my left layup and I go behind the back. Why I go so much behind the back? First of all, because it's really comfortable for me. And then because I play against a lot of defenders with long arms that if, if you cross over here most of the times, they usually gonna seal it with the left hand and they don't let you do that move. If the big is late, I'm just gonna go at his body and finish. If he made it earlier, I'm probably just gonna try to teardrop over the top. Other teams realize that, my, that I always prefer going to the rim. So it's good to develop a mid-range game that I didn't have when I got to the league. There are two big, uh, really important moves. First, the long step. The longest the step, the most distance you create from the opponent. And the other one that is sometimes tough is catch the balance again. Because sometimes it's not easy to do like this and then get set up for, for the rim. So sell my left penetration and I go behind the back and either he's fast enough to, to cut me down there or the big is way too far or there everybody is expecting the play. So I just try to go with my left foot inside close to him and then create as much distance as possible to set up with my right and, and take the jumper. This really works when I'm playing good and I'm going through a good streak of points and I got my defender worried. That's when, when I really kind of exaggerate the fake to really make him believe that I'm going to take it. And it's the easiest way to, to get two easy points. You just sell the same move by creating a distance. When you step back, just fake it. 
If he falls for it, you just draw the contact and throw it in the air. If it goes in, it's great. It creates two easy points for you, foul trouble for him. He plays in his head too because it didn't look good for him. It's something that I'm using more and more. The best it gets is when, when you make a couple of jumpers before. The play starts like every pick and roll. Very important to, to read the kind of defense the opponent is doing. Lately, I, I'm being almost double teamed or hedged really far. So when the opponent comes, they close me here. That's when I try to get even smaller and, and split between the two defenders. Because usually there's a lot of hands in here. There's a lot of players, there's gonna be four players in two square feet. You can, can push the ball and separate it from the two defenders. Once here is just a one and one against usually either a seven footer or a small that wants to draw a charge. When you wanna draw a charge, you, you forget about your defensive position. You just get straight. So you, you lose lateral movement. So that's when I use my, my long lateral step. I always sell my left and come back to the right and I finish. 